Honest, Jay Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Honest Jay Nowak. So, today, let me go on ahead and talk a few things about gum. Because, of course, I had already revealed what the subject would be next time in the last episode, which talked about spirits, so, of course, I'm going to go ahead and get on to gum. And yes, I am still chewing on that last piece that I pulled out, but, nonetheless, a few things about gum that I've really come to know about are the fact is that, of course, we know that gum itself can come from trees. Lots of things can come from trees. But in and of itself, gum happens to be a really unique specimen that you can find naturally. Of course, there are millions of things out there that most people don't even realize that actually come from nature itself. There are so many different things out there that you can actually find out there in the woods. But of course, in terms of gum itself, the many things that you can do with gum, besides just simply blowing bubbles, stretching it, bouncing it around, if you're someone who plays with your food, then of course, I guess I can go ahead and just explain it all because after all, gum itself is just a really great way to keep yourself relaxed and calm. And not to mention when you're on a flight, it happens to do well at keeping air pressure equalized within you. And this is so because usually when an air cabin is all pressurized and the like, and you're up at a certain altitude where there's little to no oxygen molecules up in that high, then of course gum can really be a good lifesaver. At the same time, noise canceling headphones can also become a good lifesaver out there. And in the case of how gum tastes, let's just get on into that. The many brands that happen to carry round gum, including Trident, Orbit, Bubblicious, and Hubba Bubba, as well as many different other brands, of course. But there are a few out there where it got made into gum based on other candy companies. Some candies that actually got turned into gum, like Starburst and Sour Patch Kids, of course. I feel like the Starburst and Sour Patch Kids ones, they were very good because I have tried both of them back then. But nowadays, I'm more of the Reliant type on Trident Vibes. Probably the newest type of Trident gum out there and one of the best new types of gum out there. There are hundreds of trailers that we continuously see for these new Trident Vibes products out there. They do come in a small variety of flavors including regular peppermint, spearmint, tropical beet, which is a consistency of mixing mango and peach, as well as a lemon citrusy burst. Of course, it's not really as big of a variety as it should be, but of course four flavors is just fine. I more likely happen to settle on the tropical beet type, simply because I'm just not really the person who's in favor of peppermint, spearmint, or any of the sort in gum form. But of course, in terms of all well, the citry bur citrusy burst, I probably would have to try that out sometime. Maybe another time. But I'm currently just settled on the Tropical Beat because they're awesome. Probably one of the greatest types of gum out there that I might have ever come across. And in any case, I just feel glad that that's just part of my life. <sighs> of course, you can find it for cheap on Amazon or in store. In terms of having multi-packs though, multiple canisters of Trident Vibes, I was able to pick up a four-pack of Trident Vibes Tropical Beet flavor for only $8. And without shipping costs. That's $2 a canister. I mean, wow. Amazon sure does like to sell their stuff cheap. In multi-packs, that is. And of course, there are, in fact, lots of other different ways to put them all together, but wow. Having $2 per canister on Amazon, what a deal. But in terms of gum itself, I honestly feel it's very therapeutic, it's very mind cleansing, 
It's a very great way to distract yourself from certain situations, and I certainly find its taste, depending on what gum I tend to go for, to be very pleasant, dignified, and pretty darn good. Now, of course, there are plenty of other things out there that I'm going to have to talk about as soon as possible, so let me go ahead and sign off on this episode. But if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.